Hello, this is Haru. In this video, I let you know how Koreans type Korean characters on keyboard and how to practice typing Korean letters with your keyboard. There are a lot of different languages in this world, and so are the writing systems. If you try to write the characters from different writing systems with your pen, you can just do it without much problem. But when you try to type it on your computer, that's when the problem starts to happen. Especially in case of Korean characters, one character consists of multiple phonemes, and there are alphabets for each phoneme. So alphabets will be combined together to form a character. So unlike most of the other languages, the letter you type will not be always put to the right of the letter before. Say, if you type Korea in English, then you firstly press K, then O comes to the right of K, R comes to the right of O, E comes to the right of R, and so on. But if I type Hanguk, I'll firstly press this one, then this character just gets to be combined with the first character, and if I type this character, the past two letters go up and this one goes below the two letters. Looks confusing? Well, not really. It's actually quite similar to how we type English characters. Korean writing system is regarded as an alphabetic writing system, meaning that the writing system has a phonetic based property. So each letter represents one sound. Just like A represents A, B represents B in English, A represents A, B represents B in Korean. Similarly, when you type a Korean character on keyboard, the order of input is the same as the order of sound. Let's see how it works with some examples. Here are a Korean word and the same sound being written in English alphabet. Here it sounds like H, A sounds like A, Dian sounds like N. As you type H-A-N-A -A to type Hana, you'll do the same for Korean characters. As you can see, basically the order of typing is left to right, up to down. Then how do you type dark? It's actually good to understand how it sounds and how a syllable consists of consonant, vowel, consonant, order. So you type dark in this order. Digut, A, Ryukyu. The corresponding alphabet is D, A, R, G. In reverse way, you can also type angel, N, T, in Korean as well. Alright, cool. Then is it like if you type H, A, N, A, it becomes Hana? Not really. The thing is, we have our own key arrangement on QWERTY style keyboard. And this is how it looks. If you closely look at the arrangement, you can figure out some interesting features. The first point I'd like to mention is that Korean keyboard is designed in the way that all the consonants are typed with your left hand and all the vowels with your right hand. Considering that one character corresponds to one syllable and consonants and vowels are typed alternately to make a syllable, I honestly think the keyboard arrangement is quite well optimized. Another point I like about this keyboard is that you'll never type the same letters twice sequentially. Hey, but aren't there the characters like this? Well, there are, but you don't press them twice to type them. Okay. In order to type these 5 double consonants, you press shift key and corresponding consonant at the same time. Also. These five consonants are positioned together in the first row, so it's relatively easier to press shift with your little finger and those consonants with other fingers at the same time. Alright, looks cool, but how do you change from English to Korean? There are both English alphabet and Korean alphabet on the same key. Well, that's very important question, because even though you got to know about all the things I just explained, if you cannot make a conversion from one to the other, um, there's no point. You will eventually not be able to type Korean characters at all. Well, you can simply do that by pressing this button. In most keyboard, this key would be right next to spacebar. There's a fun trivia with this key that I want to share with you. 
you know, sometimes Korean people are just too lazy to press that language conversion button. So they just type a Korean word without pressing it. And the result is like just some random bunch of English alphabet that makes no sense. But the search engines still show the right results every time. Not just that, but people also do this when they want to say some swear words but don't want to get filtered by the website. Like this and this are just too famous that Korean can even recognize what they mean with only those letters. Alright, now we know how Koreans type Korean characters on the computer. But how do we type it with English keyboard and is there any way for us to get used to it? Well, in order to type Korean characters, you firstly have to install a language package on your computer. And let me briefly explain how you can do this on Windows environment. Press the window button on your keyboard and go to settings. And then search for language to go to edit language and keyboard options. Under the preferred languages tab, there's the add a language button. Um, press it then you'll see a window for installing a language. Look for Korean and download it. Once you install the language, you can select which language to type by pressing the window key and the space bar at the same time. If you still cannot type Korean letter, then press the language conversion button which might be right next to the spacebar. After finishing your setting, you can practice typing Korean words and sentences with this program. i leave the link in the comment section below so that you can download this program from the official webpage. This is the webpage and in case you need, i let you know how to install the program. There's nothing really complicated. Just click all the buttons I'm clicking, then the program would be successfully downloaded. Once you open the program, um, this would be the first thing you're gonna see. So on the left column, you can choose the kind of letters you wanna practice, like getting used to the position of characters, practicing with a single word or a sentence or a paragraph. Let's actually try each of them. So, in the middle of the screen, there's the alphabet you have to type. And the keyboard image lets you know which key you should press. Since I'm practicing level 1, um, I'm only practice typing uh, the letters on the second row of my keyboard. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Here again, um, you can select the level of wood. Uh, let's go with this one. Here, as you can see, you have to press enter after typing a word to move on to the next word. Um, when you choose to practice with a sentence, you can choose the topics of this sentence. Um, this one means just all the sentences, and the one next is about history and culture. Um, this one is for idiomatic expressions, and the next one is, I guess, just some random sentences. For the long text practice, it's literally long text like some essays, um, some biographies, and even an entire novel. I remember I also used to practice typing with this program from year one in elementary school class. The UI looks different from the one that I used to use, but the sentences in this program looks the same as the ones I used to practice with. So after typing one page of text, you can choose to continue or quit like this. So I think this would be enough explanation for you to know. Alright, in this video, I talked about how to type Korean characters on computer environment. 
I hope this video could be helpful for those who are keen to kite culture. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Cheers!